Hi everyone, what's up? We are back with another episode from uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Likes and support greatly appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button. If you want to be on day with the content I am sharing every day, and I will be very grateful for that. Uh, yeah, let's continue with the story. Right? We are here. Uh, what should we do? We should examine that. Right, because that is very disturbing. <laughs> A cakes with what? With worms? Oh my god. That was crazy. Let's go. More cakes over here. Let's go. I think we have to go. We cannot drive on roach, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure. Because we will need to examine those things or not? Or maybe not. Oh. Yeah, let's just follow that path. Run, Roach. Here's the village. All right. Nice. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer. Shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire. Gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. Why? What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassie's here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. I am not a bandit. Who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. 
come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tells tales and tales, naught but tales. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gran's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter, and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm? A bit of help, please? A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Right. That kid knows, knows something. Oh, let's go. Yeah. We have to go here. Probably speak to him, right? Yes. Talk to the boy. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Suit with scratchings. You hear? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Oh man, come on. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails, but Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so, and Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Yuck, indeed. Blah. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us, too. Play hide-and-seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Fine, all right. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three... 18, 19, 20. 20. Oh my god. Ready or not, here I come.
Let's try over here. <laughs> Found you. Found you can you. stop hiding. How'd you find me? Yeah, that was easy. Come on. What did you think? I can see you. No fair. I'm supposed to win. Why not? Not fair? What do you mean? That one now close to this one. Where can it be? Right here. There you are. There you are. Of course I did. Come on. And the last one. What the... what the hell? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Right here? <laughs> nice. everyone found you, you are. are yeah you don't play right but we'll help come on let's talk to the others by the cottage found you all now you got to keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend why wouldn't we promise didn't we afraid don't know nothing I won't hurt you where's Gran she's busy why are you scared to talk I'm not scared of nothing you're all scared of something would have told me about Johnny otherwise I'm worried about Johnny you don't come round no more once when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed. Like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? I then my mom. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy. Cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This 
strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. So, we know now where to go. Well, let's see what do we have in here. Okay, we can loot something. Alright, let's do that. Something else over here. Right, that should be all. So let's go. Oh, they are over here. Let's uh, loot that house as well. If we are already here, oh, let's grab everything we can. That thing and this thing as well. All right. I don't think we can go there. This will be close for sure. Right, but I guess I will meditate till some, uh, yeah, till morning. Come on, because it's really dark. Uh, yeah, let's do it till seven. Right. That's perfect. Let's follow now. Let's find Johnny. Right, where is he? Oh shit. We have to go somewhere over here. Oh man. Right. Right, right, right. Why not, right? Damn it, yeah. Wow, yeah, that was a close one. Oh, damn it. Damn you. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. That was very dangerous. God damn it. I am not paying attention. Boy, oh boy. Let's look for some clues, right? Okay, we have some footprints. And they belong to Johnny. Small right? footprint. Johnny's been through here. So, we should follow, of course. Whoa, my god. Kidding me? Get out of here. What the hell is going on? Wow. That's like a big family. Right there. God damn, that was crazy. Just six guys came <laughs> out. Damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they are right here now. Okay. So it seems like they want to fight me. Okay. 
I have no other choice or what? No, I can go to here, okay. Well, guys, uh, stay there. <laughs> I have some business over here. God damn, those swamps are really dangerous. All right, what do we have over here? Wonder what's inside. I think uh, Johnny's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. He cannot speak. Can talk, All right? This where you live? Cozy Burrow, good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? So you are the king of the monsters, all right. You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid, not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? You want me to follow you? I guess. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Oh, come on, not through here, right? going defeat the monsters oh my god why <laughs> why damn it Right, so where when there are monsters we cannot follow. Damn it, he's afraid. And he just said he's not afraid of monsters, I guess, or what was that? I thought he said that he's the king of monsters. <laughs> this the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? 
Something that'll get you your voice back? Something like what? Guess I gotta make this climb. Ha <laughs> ha, he's happy. He is very happy. We will do it for him, okay. Well, let's go then. Here's through here. Looks promising. Oh shit, what is that? Um, right. Now, how am I supposed to fight those? Just like that? All right. That was easy. Come on. Oh, you. Let's kill that one as well, I guess. Oh, this is something bigger. Whoa, this is something bigger, right? Oh, shit. Whoa. Going down. Nice. Wow. That was cool. We didn't have to kill that wyvern, I guess, but yeah. It was it was really close. So. Right. What do we have to pick from here? A sealed bottle. bottle. Maybe right. he meant this bottle. I guess he did. So let's check that out. Now we can go through here. Alright. So let's do that. Johnny, here. Here. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? 
Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crows. They don't help no one. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Ah, oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right. Let's go again. This time, I hope you will not be afraid, right? Come on, so I should follow you, or what is going on? Enemies, of course. Careful, yep. Watch out. Right or what? What's going on? The thirty-three thieves thought they threw the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, Johnny. What the hell? It doesn't set to, to kill those monsters, but I guess that's what we have to do. Die? And we are so close to die. For that dude. What can I say? God damn it. You wanted to kill me? I killed you. Okay. Hey, Johnny, come on. 
It's safe now. The 33 thieves thought they threw the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you already said that. Was that everything in here? I mean, I guess. Uh, not sure. But I will not look uh, every single place for some loot, right? Come on, we should go through here, yes. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You... You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Thank you, Johnny. You are the best. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all. Beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Disturb our rest, woman. Whoa. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy 
destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Stone nose, stone ears. All right, that's nice. And level seven, fantastic. What does she have over here? Well, open that as well. Nice. What the? Did I do that? Shit, sorry. I really didn't want it to scare you, Granny. And I believe that's it. Oh. Some goodness over there. And great. Oh. What a beautiful weather right now. Storm is coming, that's for sure. And the end of that episode as well. So maybe let's get inside. Oh, that's much quieter in here. I will finish that episode right here, guys. So thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, leave some like or comment. I will appreciate that very much. And if you are new to my channel, please... Click the subscribe button, I will be very grateful and I will see you soon in another episode from Witcher 3 Wild Hunt.